Hey everybody, we're the regulars. Woo -hoo. Look, we're doing the cheer. Yeah. Welcome back to the regular studio here in LA. Today we are gonna be doing another food investigation for you. As you know, uh, it's become very popular for celebrities, YouTubers, uh, famous people to start restaurants. And we don't know why. So today, we're here to announce our rest. Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Where you should show regularly. Oh God, that's not a bad idea. You know, it's not a bad it's name not for a restaurant. A bad name. We'll you get like it. regular, regular fries. You get a regular oh, style. Uh, oh dang. What size drink do you want? Regular. regular uh, do you, you know, somebody write this down. Um, but we're gonna be putting some celebrity restaurants to the test. We've ordered from a couple different ones from people you will recognize, and we're gonna see if their food is any good. But before we start eating, hit the like button. Hit that subscribe button. Let's get to work now. Remember, we fly Nico out here and we rent this studio. Seriously. Please help. <laughs> help us. Um, okay, so the first restaurant that we have up today is from somebody you've definitely heard of. His name is Kevin Hart. He's one of the funniest comedians in the world. And for some reason, he's now translated that over to food. I don't mean to sound skeptical. It's just, uh, you know, comedian to chef. Um, he started a chain of restaurants called Heart Home. Heart House. Heart House. Sorry, this house is not a home. Uh, it could um, be a home. There are two locations that are opening a third, so it's actually apparently doing okay. quite well. Oh, wow. So Heart House is committed to the future of food and our overall well-being. We're on a mission that's simple, to make the food you know and love better for you, better for your wallet and the planet. I do like the wallet part. So their promise is no cholesterol, no antibiotics, no hormones, no artificial colors, no preservatives, no corn syrup, no trans fat. Do we not like corn syrup? Yeah, what's wrong with corn syrup? I, it's got the juice. Okay. From the heart. I was from gonna say, heart? yeah, from the heart, dude. That's Isn't he like super slogan. healthy? What? Uh, I found at Heart House to create a good experience that combines the joy of coming together over food with the power of purpose. Our amazing chefs and team have created a 100% plant-based menu. Oh. That makes sense from the heart. That delivers can't believe it flavor in every bite. I know you're going to love it. Okay, so this is a vegan restaurant. Or vegetarian oh. at least, I guess, maybe. Plant-based vegetarian? Which means yeah. real cheese, but not real meat. Oh, yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, 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 yeah basically. Yeah, yeah. Uh, looks like they got like burgers, fries, milkshakes. Milkshakes. Bringing the boys to the yard, okay. Tater tots, they got tater tots. They got the tots, yeah, the vegetarians the do tots. love the tots. Okay. Like the juice. So, a hard home. House. Ah, what, a, okay, yes. Hard. Our home's on a house. A hard house, let's. Let's, is a home. let's give it a shot. I'm let's glad we're it. starting with the vegetarian one first. All right, we have Ooh. Heart House Home right I, here. I would say it's a hearty bag. Stop. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna go home in a minute if this doesn't calm down. I hope this gives me a heart attack. So what do we got? We got some napkins. Okay, can we rate the napkins? Oh, we've been totted up. We've been totted up? Yeah, there's a bag of tots for each of us. Ooh, baby! Should I say what we got? I think we got three single burgers. Okay. Three tots. Okay. okay. And three sig sauce? What'd you call me? I think that's a, a sigma. sigma. Wait, sig sigma, sigma sauce. sauce. Okay. Sheesh. Yep. Sigma it, sauce. It says single, so here you go, Nico. That's for you. Single sauce. I don't think I need this. Guys, what about the burgers? You get it? No. If you had a heart, you would. Oh, stop, dude. I can't wait to eat the next thing that hopefully won't have any puns in it. Oh, thank you. A single for everyone, dude. Oh, yeah, all the single biffles. All, all the single, single biffles. biffles. Are you digging in? What does it smell no, like? I'm just smelling. Okay, I'm just giving does a little. It smell like vegetables. It sweet. smells. We gotta rate everything what out of ten? Yeah, out of ten. Out yeah. of ten. I'll start with the tot. I think. Uh, I just the burger smells like a burger. I will say the burger is ra well wrapped. All right, tots very traditional. I'd sort of expect them to be pretty good. So we're starting with the tots. I think we start with the tot. Do we do it without the sauce or with the sauce? I'm gonna do without the sauce. All right. All right. Nico oh, could be our our tottino expert. So uh, this ooh. is what's it boiled in or deep fried in? I would assume. Well, not vegetable oil. The or... blood of Kevin Hart's like enemies, I would assume. That doesn't sound vegetarian to me. Okay, it smells good. It does smell pretty good. It you smells guys pretty go good. In? Yeah, all right, let's do it. That's a tater tot. It just tastes like a tater tot. Yeah. Now, yeah, here's, just... here's my confession. I don't like tater tots. For it to be like all about health, that does not taste healthy. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't. But that's kind of maybe the point. Maybe it's like right? I have to look into that. Yeah, we're gonna have to look into that. But it's pretty. I'm gonna go with the, I'm gonna go with the sauce and see what happens. You're gonna sauce it up. I'm gonna I'm gonna I sauce it. I'll, I'll be honest, the sauce was not a. <laughs> That's exactly what I did. All right, let's try that bad boy out. Let's see. <laughs> it looks good. Why are you coughing? <laughs> I would say it's like a it's a six. It's a tater tot. It's yeah, not, it's not. It's like. But then what would be a ten tater tot? Are we basing this on tater tots? or on just food. I mean, isn't that the same thing? No, because like, 
on like a tater tot scale versus like a food scale. Yeah, okay, look, uh, I will say- If this is a healthy tater tot, I'm giving this like an eight out of 10 then. I, I would say that on the on the tater tot scale, it's like a nine out of 10, but for me, tater tots can only really be a six out of 10. Does that make sense? You know yeah. what, fine. I, I'm just gonna go with, I'm gonna go with a seven. I'd give it like a nine on the tater tot scale. I actually do wanna try the burger, because uh, I, I haven't eaten very many no fun burgers. No fun burgers, is that what you call them? Dude, have you? Let's take this apart a little bit. It smells, yeah, okay. I'm on. not gonna lie, the packaging, very nice. The packaging, very clean, all right, very good looking. Where's the burger? <laughs> <laughs> did yours not come with the burger? I don't understand. But did you see how thin this is? Yeah, it's like a, it's like a smash patty. Listen, there's gonna be a lot happening over on my end because I don't eat a lot of things that go on burgers. Yeah, we know. Dude, just so, eat it. No, I can't. Dude, you have to set an example, eat it. I cannot <laughs> set an example. Eat what is lettuce. Like, I, I, listen, I'll eat the lettuce. And it's the tomato. The tomato Wait, and the the, there's no tomato. There's a tomato on mine. There is a tomato. Yep, You're, the tomato's going out. out to, to I, 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 cannot, I physically cannot eat tomatoes. They're I cannot eat tomatoes, and I'm not an onion guy. These are children. Listen. No, some, I have sensitivity, Nico. Do you? There's no sensitivity, dude. To nightshade? Wait, how much do these cost? Oh yeah, you, well, you, have the re, you have the recipient. There is no prices on this receipt. Yeah, that's how you know it's expensive. All right, here we go. Three, two, one. Oh my God. That's a burger. Yeah, how's the skeleton of the burger you ordered? <laughs> how's the skeleton of your heart taste? Uh, you want to find out? A little bit. I think the patty's too thin. The patty is thin, but I will say it tastes pretty good. Like, not bad. It's got a lot of this sauce. If somebody just gave me this, I would not know that it wasn't a burger. You're absolutely right. It's pretty, like, pretty impressive. It goes the number up. Yeah. I no, I actually think this is like pretty solid. I would, I think I would rather have a double. Like, I would rather see like that experience because the, the the patty is very, 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 very thin here. Let me, let me show. Very, very, very. A very double, well. not, and not then feeling the patty. Not feeling the patty, but the flavor is good. Okay, I just got the receipt. Burger is six dollars. Wow. Wow. The tots are two dollars and fifty cents. That's not. Okay, I'm actually like pretty low key. So impressed. this whole thing was thirty bucks. That's not bad. Okay. That is n wow. Uh, okay, and it does not taste like I thought it was gonna taste. This is gonna get a high score from me. Yeah, I would eat this again. Actually. I would eat this again over like most fast food places. Yeah, ever. Um, Dude, 250 for these tots, not a bad deal. I know, I'm gonna go for another tot run. Actually, you know what, my tots go up, it's eight now. I really want a double. Also, I say the bread is really good. I like the bread. If it's a double, I would go again. Yeah, you need to double up on the on the meat. Yeah, I would say double or, up on the meat. Mr. Kevin, I know you're probably watching this. <laughs> Make your burger a little thicker. Like, I'm actually very impressed. Uh, a I, plant made this? I, I was, <laughs> you tell me a plant. You tell me, <laughs> hey. You tell me a plant made this? This is this is this is the best vegetarian burger I've ever had. I agree. I'm gonna give it on the burger scale 7.5. I think with uh, I think with a double patty it could be an eight. Double patty this would be a nine. Right now it's an eight. Okay. Yeah. I'll give it like a six seven. You are, those are two you different are, numbers. You are cold. I'll give it a six. You, you literally said six point five. You are is cold. What a six seven is. You are a yeah. cold Canadian man. I want you to know that. Yeah. He's mad. He's mad at you. If you had eaten your tomato, he would have. True. It's because I didn't eat yeah, the tomato. He's, he's punishing the burger because you're telling of me you. A plant didn't make this? Or your onions. I keep almost taking another bite. <laughs> I'm telling you. you I know. I'm it. trying to pace ourselves. We have out. other. We have, we have other. We have food. Food. Okay. We'll from, save this for the end. Different people. We'll save this for the end. But I'm coming back to the burger at the end, guaranteed. Overall. Really good, actually. Uh, I see right. why. I see what's expanding. I support, it, especially at those prices. Holy crap! That's dude. like actually crazy. Uh, yeah, prices. that's so good. Um, let's take a look at our next celebrity restaurant. So you remember how I was really hoping the next restaurant wouldn't have another pun? <laughs> yeah, it does. Seriously, we got to stop doing this as a as a species. Yeah. And by species, I mean like creators, it, 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 YouTubers, creators, YouTubers. Yeah. Anybody creative? Uh, this is Dough Bricks Pizza because it's dough and brick, dough and you bricks. make it in a brick hey, oven. Yeah, let's go. Yeah. Place, I think it's made out of brick, isn't it? Right? Probably. Looks like well, it. but I mean, you use yeah. brick ovens to make pizza, right? Like, so, you know, either way. And the, the dough. Ah, uh, this is the website for it. Ooh. That's a really interesting looking crust. Yeah, it's all crust. Uh, we're only taking orders in person. Okay, so they don't even deliver. We had to send somebody to go get this. Mm. Uh, really interesting looking crust. That doesn't 3 a.m.? Like yeah, they're open 3, 3 in the morning? Sheesh. You can email them if you want. Pizza, oh, there, there's an email. Okay. Oh, they got, oh. What is that? That's candy corn. Is that candy, is that a candy pizza? That's a candy corn pizza. That, am I tripping? I, it, either that or it's like no, onions. No, that's, okay. that's, that's those, are just, those are just vegetables. Yeah, I've I never has, seen those. Have you guys heard of those? <laughs> no, I've never heard of so many. Uh, 
Those olives? Calling all pizza lovers, foodies, and overall late night munchers. So they do all kinds of stuff, it looks like here. We could apply. We could apply, yeah. You wanna work, work there? Let's look at their merch. Why don't we get any of that? Yeah, there's merch? Let's get to see some fire merch, dude. Let's see some fire merch. Hello? There we go. Uh, Dilbrick's heavy hoodie, the heavy tee. We should have got this. We should have been wearing Dang, this. Dang, dude. Now. Yeah, we're missing out. That. Let's go back. Okay, yeah, yeah we'll, we'll figure it out. We'll send someone out. In the meantime, the menu looks like they got cheese, pepperoni, meat lover, Hawaiian, spicy okay. vodka. Cheese breadsticks. Ooh, Ooh, ice cream. Ice cream. Okay. Ice cream. Slushy. Okay. Mm, all right. Well, so we got ourselves a pizza place. Now I like me a good pizza. Mm. Let's see if this is a good pizza. You guys ready to try it out? Let's try it. Whoop bam! Behold, Dobrik's Pizza. This is a oh, thick box. This, this is a high quality big box. Pizza. Yeah, it's heavy. All right. What are these things? Oh, those are uh, in all pizza boxes in the I'm US. I'm curious for, like, to know so they don't oh. steam and stuff. how much dough did we spend on this? Yeah, wait, who has the receipt? I have the receipt. All right, yeah, let's how find out what dough our dough, did we spend our dough, on dough expenditure was. All right, we spent, we got a doughy pepperoni hole. Okay. With no honey, honey on side. Oh, okay. Honey? Ha yeah, wait, Hasa, what? <laughs> I accepted that way too in stride. Wait, like the sponsorship? No. Please call us. Yeah, there's things of honey. There's in honey there. on the side, yeah. Oh, that makes sense because you always sponsored by honey. Yeah, and this is uh, thirty-two dollars. Okay. So the other one was okay. This is as much as the three burgers and three tots cost us. Interesting. And the three sauces. We and the three sauces. Dollar fifty for yeah, three okay. sauces. Okay. Well, open it up, buddy. Bam. Okay. It looks good. It, it looks, looks like good. a pizza. Why is there honey? That is interesting. Was, Somebody explain I, the honey I, to oh, me. There has, is that honey in there? I think that's honey in the pepperoni. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shove it, your face it in did it. Not, it does not smell like honey to me. I could take a grease. pepperoni out and taste it. Should we get plates? Um, all right, boys, let's see. These I'm, are some big pieces. These, yeah. are, these are some beefy pizzas. Yeah. It's bigger than my plate. Yeah, this is, okay, let's dig in. Whoa. Everybody get some honey. Well, it's a bit doughy. Yeah. I feel like I gotta taste this with them without honey. <laughs> yeah, I yeah. need to know if the honey is gonna help. I actually like honey, so I'm kind of intrigued. I but... hate to tell you guys, I don't like honey. I know, there's something wrong with you. There's All right, here we go. nothing wrong with me. I'm a good man. Before we, we eat this, I should tell you guys, I did text them that we we're eating these. Yeah? So. I did text them. <laughs> I did text them. <laughs> okay, yeah, well, so you know, they, here we they are. They might watch this. Oh boy. All right, well, you're on the clock now. Ready? Go for it. Yeah. Is this honey? That is honey. I don't honey. think so. I think that's honey. Is it dripping it is off? Not. Oh. It, is, it is honey. No, it's just grease. Tastes like pizza. It's actually really good. I'm gonna say something that maybe sounds mean, but I actually mean it in a fantastic way. It reminds me of when Little Caesars is just right. <laughs> yeah, I can see that. And when Little Caesars is just right, it's the best pizza I've ever had in my life. Yeah. It's, but, got, it's got no flop, dude. It's got no, no yeah, it's like perfectly doughy, perfectly cheesy. The what? sauce is like sweet, but not too aggressive. I actually really like it, but it's like Little Caesars is, the, is like actually one of my favorite pizza places, but only sometimes, you know what I mean? Yeah, but have you dipped it in the Guys, honey? Guys, one yet? bite, everyone knows the rules. Yeah, yeah. All right, let's get the honey. Let's get some honey going. That is an interesting, what the? All right, hold up. Hold up. Wait a minute. I kind of like it. Hey, Mr. Dobrik. I, I don't really like it with the honey, but I, do see how someone would really like it. It's I, I kind of like it. It's not my thing, but I, I understand it. And it I get does, what you're going for. It does for go it. together. You know? How do you make honey spicy? I don't know, but it is. Oh God, it is. <laughs> how do you make things spicy? You add spices. I like it. These are one of the- take a little, take a little swig. No, take okay. a little swig. There's, smell it. There's well, absolutely- there might be, What if there's two different types of honey? We that would be really it. funny. Here, smell my honey. That's the thing I never thought I'd say to you. Well, it, is, go for it. it is lighter. This is one of the greasiest pizzas I think I've ever had or had in a while. It is a greasy pizza. It doesn't smell like normal honey. It's very thick. I guess because we got the doughy. Yeah, I like the doughy. Yeah, the doughy, I, so the thing is I usually, yeah, that is an interesting smell. <laughs> But it didn't taste spicy when I ate it. So someone, I don't, no. Someone leave a comment down below. And tell me if. Wait, read the receipt. Does it say anything about spicy honey? It, well, it, okay. Not it's literally called hot honey. Yeah, so it's hot honey. Yeah, it's because it's hot. Did we warm it up. Can we just agree? The pizza, pretty good. Yeah, actually, I uh, I want to say that I, in terms of like reviews I have heard, I had came in with a lower expectation, and I was pleasantly surprised. I'm gonna be honest. I always like doughy like pizza. Like I like my stuff to be like pretty like raw pizza. For 32 bucks, not bad. It's not terrible. It's a pretty not good terrible. size. Yeah, like this is perfect comfort pizza or, or uh, you know, pizza for a night out on the town or after night a night pizza. out of town. Like I see why you're open till 3 a.m. Yeah. I see it. Yeah. I see it. 100%. We get it. I would have it. I would have it again. We get it. All right, what do you give it out of 10? If, for, had, on the pizza if I had scale. delivery, I would order it. And if I lived here. Yeah, okay, there's, <laughs> some, there's some barriers for you. i give it like an eight. Seven? No, seven. I'll give seven. I'll give it a 7.8. Ooh, bad. I was gonna give it an eight. But I've also never had like a 10 pizza. 
I, yeah. I don't think I've ever had a 10 pizza. Little Caesars when it hits just right, no, dude. dude. You <laughs> have a bad taste. Yeah. What? <laughs> he doesn't know what spicy is. Delbrick's pretty solid, actually. Not bad. Uh, Not I enjoyed bad. it. I would eat it again. Almost as fun as Saddle Ranch. Almost as fun. Almost. We have one more uh, celebrity influencer restaurant to give a try. So we're going to grab that. Let's go with the next one. All right, so for our third celebrity restaurant of the evening, man, we've eaten a lot of food today. Uh, we're I'm checking cold. out Mr. Beast Burger. Of course, had to do it. I've actually never had it. Uh, no? Have any of you guys yeah. tried it? I think yeah. it's only recently come to Canada. So. Yeah. Really? No, I, I, I've never tried it, so I'm very curious to see. Um, I have heard good things and bad things. Well, so the other two places we just had are restaurants. Yeah. This is like a satellite restaurant. Yeah. Wait, it's in the space? Yeah. It is it is in the space. Oh, yes. oh in the space. Okay. So they basically Gosh. just have the recipe, send it to just a kitchen that's signed up to some app, and then they make it. Oh. And they have to follow the guidelines, and then that's the Mr. Beast Burger. So it's not like there's- uh, And any restaurant can do it. So like, if your restaurant wants to like- Yeah. So the regular restaurant can do it. Yeah, we could we could be yeah. a Mr. Beast kitchen right now if we wanted okay. to. So okay, Mr. Beast we're gonna see how this goes. They're, they have a couple different styles. They have the Chris style, the Beast style, Carl's grilled cheese and oh, the Chandler interesting. style. Oh, okay. interesting. They really copied in and out. Yeah, honestly, it's kind of cringe. Mm -hmm. uh, they also have a Nashville hot chicken tender sandwich oh, for some nice. reason. Oh, we didn't get the chocolate chip cookie. It's chocolate chip up. cookies. That's Jimmy's favorite. Oh, dude, we messed up. We should okay. look at the menu. Oh, now there is a restaurant. Oh, they have a restaurant There is an now. official restaurant in place, oh. but it's not the one we got it from. Mr. Beast Burger is a virtual brand offering a separate concept to run out of your kitchen, available for delivery and pickup via only food delivery services. Oh, that's cool. yeah. They don't so, even have merch? So far, I've been like ple pleasantly surprised by yeah. everything we've eaten. So, let's see what we got for the third one. Fingers crossed. Mr. Beast time. Please, don't hurt my stomach. Kabam! Oh, it's Mr. Beast time. Oh. Ah, ah. Thumbnail. What if it's just full of money? That oh, we all want a house. Please, 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 please. I don't need money. money. I'm hoping it's money. Are you okay? Yeah, I'd rather have money. Uh, it looks like a napkin. Yes. Nice, lucky. All right, we got one of these. What is that? It's That's... got. Wait, why does it have Dream on it? Seriously? No way! Does Dream have a burger? No. This one says Chandler style, that's what I got. Uh, we got some of the Mr. Beast fries, and you guys both got Dream. We got, we got, uh, we got Dream. What I'm gonna guess that one's yours, and that one's yours. Yeah, I got a beast. It's dinner. Yeah, I know. But you I both got, got Dream. Beasts. Who would've thought? And there's some ketchup in here if anybody cares. Does All right. this just turn into a manhunt? What happened? Am I gonna die? I don't. Does Dream and Mr. Beast have anything to do with each other? I mean, he went to Alaska with him. That's you true. did go to Alaska. Does this, what is? I don't know what's happening. We'll find out I when we open start it. With the fries? We should start with the fries. Actually, these fries are promising. I love this kind of fry that has the like seasoning going on and the kind of like crispy outer, but is still a little chunky. Can I try it yet? No. Okay. <laughs> Interesting. So seasoned fry. It's like Cajun fries. Interesting. Are these spicy too? No, I don't think they're spicy, but I think we're I think we're all thinking the same thing. This one. Not the best fry I've had. And I think I know why it's not the best fry we've ever had. If you can tell from the inside of the box. It's like steamed itself. It's steamed itself. Yeah. So and it's then, a bit soggy. Like it's weird because it's soggy and crunchy at the same time somehow. Yeah, it is. It's gotten a little I think the delivery of it maybe. Yeah, it didn't it's, the, the I don't taste? know if you can see, but there's a whole rainforest of water in yeah, it. Yeah, it got a little it got a little water in it. All right. A little water in it. So I'm gonna go ahead and just be like, that's unfair. Unfortunately ruined in travel, we'll say. The taste? I, I think that it could be a really good fry, but I agree that it's, it's sagafied itself into yeah. into oblivion. I mean, this is 10 out of 10. I got dreams, so. though. I don't. Why did you guys both get dreams? I, I don't. Know. I don't know, but I'm keeping the sticker. Ooh, I want to. I don't want to. This smells kind of good. I don't want to rip Dream's face off. Hold on. Oh, hello, peekaboo. Is this a burger? That. It, so, uh, you remember? Hmm. <laughs> uh, yeah. Let's let's. Well, this is two burgers. I think this And a hair. <laughs> no! No, it is not. I don't know if that's from this though. I might have just fallen from I mean, something. maybe the dogs. It was like a fluff. Yeah. All right, listen. Uh, Looks can be deceiving. I don't think so. This is a very uh, like fast food food. Yeah. So you have beast style double burger. You have a beast style double burger, no diced onion. Yeah. I have the Chandler style, okay? Uh, all of this plus delivery costs forty-one dollars. So it's the most expensive thing. Oh, that's with delivery though. Yeah. So the Chandler style says it's two smashed crispy beef patties with house seasoning served plain with American cheese on a toasted bun. Yeah, that looks about right. That's definitely. What do you What do you think plain means? Yeah, you're right. <laughs> yeah, you're right. Do you not like ketchup? No, I hate ketchup. Yeah, that doesn't look right. And mustard. So they messed up your order. Yeah. So my order is just not. Oh, Correct. Sucks. Guess you gotta eat ketchup. Does mine have avocado on it? No, I think it's a really gross color of 
mustard. Okay. Let's let's see. Oh yeah, let's go for it. Don't be nervous. Stop being nervous. I'm not nervous, you're nervous. So we actually realized uh, it seems it might've just been a little packaging error. Biffle had the Chandler style burger, but the Chandler style stickover is on the wrong side. So anyway, this is mine. I got the Chandler style, so we switched. He's less thrilled he wanted my burger. Let's, let's give it a shot. Well, I took my bite. All right, well, congrats. Thank you. No, I'm good. No, I'm good. You don't like it? Nah, I think I got a mouthful of pickles. Dude, th I think this is the kind of burger I would eat like once a year. I think so. I think it'll clog my arteries if I eat more of this. It is really, it's a lot. Very greasy, fast food burger. Yeah. Which I guess is, it is fast food burger because we got to be a fast food. True, that's a good point. Yeah. Unfortunately, of the things we've had tonight, it's my least favorite. Yeah, for sure. Sorry, Jimmy. Sorry, Jimmy. <laughs> Sorry, Mr. B. But also every single kitchen is different, right? So it doesn't, it's really hard to know. It's the price. Um, See, this is how Kevin Hart should be, though, that it falls like That's it comes what I'm yeah, saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I do agree. I do like it better. Th that, like, that part I like better you than can the, at least the, see it, the Hart burger. home one. I think, I think for me, the winner is actually Hart home, though. 100%. Yeah, especially for being plant based. Like, I'm giving it like a little bonus score for that and still being so good. Yeah. I think for me, it goes actually in the order we ate house home. 100%. Dough bricks. Uh, Mr. Jimmy Dream. Jimmy burger. X. Jimmy yeah. X. Dream. Yeah. Uh, why is, can someone let us know why Dream is on here? Ah! Uh, are there some other celebrities who, or YouTubers who have restaurants in LA you guys think we should try? Leave a comment down below. If you've tried the restaurants yourself and you have opinions, leave them down below. In the meantime, we'll be back again in the studio or back with some of the other videos real soon. How soon, boys? Regularly. Regularly.